What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you might have seen all the films that we've been making with Oppo over the past few years around the world. Whether it was Switzerland, Japan, Italy or the recent trip to Barcelona and London for Wimbledon, we were able to check out Oppo's cutting edge lineup of smartphones including this year's Find X5 Pro flagship smartphone as well as the recent Oppo Reno 8 Pro which is their premium midline phone. The biggest commonality between Oppo's current lineup is their technical innovation and in today's video we're going to be talking about their Inspiration Ahead campaign and I want to give a huge thanks to Oppo for sponsoring this video. If you guys look to win an Oppo smartphone for yourself just make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment down below as to what your favorite feature is as well as your Instagram username and I'll be contacting you on Instagram directly within a month. So some of the features that are in Oppo's current lineup of smartphones that enhance your daily life which is the intention of the Inspiration Ahead is the fact that they've been integrating some great visual elements through the Mars Silicon NPU to be able to take better photos. We're in New York City right now, so of course taking photos is very important in this beautiful view behind me, but there's so much to explore and we're going to be putting that to the test with features such as the AI scene recognition that is able to enhance your photo and give you suggestions based on the type of images that you're taking, but at the same time is able to give you great low light performance, which is something that we've tested from Barcelona to London for Wimbledon, where we're actually able to explore the city and capture great images in low light because of all of the algorithms and the physical elements of the chip along with the Hasselblad partnership that are able to come together to give you great image quality. On top of that, some other areas that are very important in the daily life is being charged up. It's important that the phone is able to stay charged up and have a decent battery life but also have fast charging because I often go back to the hotel room or the office for a couple like minutes at a time just to quickly get a charge and get out again because there's so much to do in a given day. These are very long days. We've been doing 30,000 steps, checking out the city by foot and to ensure that the smartphone is able to keep up the battery life on the Oppo lineup is impressive. Superfook technology is something that Oppo has been working on for many years now and it's one that we've been able to see the forefront of when it comes to increasing that charging speed but also ensuring the safety of your device over the years. At Mobile World Congress this year we actually saw the concept of the 240 watt charger that is able to give you a 0 to 100 charge in just 10 minutes which is crazy and we're going to see that hopefully hit the market someday but even in the current lineup of Oppo smartphones and in today's case we have the Oppo Find X5. It is one that has showcased the elements of the dual cell battery technology paired with fast SuperVoop charging. This phone in particular has a 4800 milliamp hour battery with 80 watts SuperVoop which is able to get you a 50% charge in just 34 minutes. What is also very important beyond the fast charging capabilities is the safety of the device. It is actually charging two cells at a time. This gives you a rated 1600 charges. The display is also another element that we've talked a lot about up and down the lineup. And in this display, not only is it a great AMOLED screen that is able to give you great image rendition as well as good levels of brightness while taking it around town in bright situations, but at the same time, it also has bionic eye protection, which is a feature that is able to not only dim effectively, but it's also able to keep the levels of blue light out if you would like that. And there's actually 8,192 levels of dimming curve to give you a very specific dimming to not only bring a very enjoyable experience when using your smartphones for long periods of time, but also minimize the strain on the eyes, which is very important if you're on your phone every day like myself. So as part of this Inspiration Ahead campaign with Oppo, it's also important that we talk about the Oppo's Innovation Accelerator program. It is a program put together to empower future technology thinkers as well as entrepreneurs to come together and develop ideas that can enhance the lives of people using Oppo's products. Of course, technology is something that drives the future. It's going to be around and we've seen a lot of great innovations from Oppo already, but by encouraging this initiative, it's going to continue to develop that path moving forward. So as we walk around New York City and take some photos on the Oppo Find X5, another area of innovation is how they keep the smartphone cool throughout long periods of use. While you're in the city, of course, I'm trying to stay connected via 5G. The connectivity has been great, but most importantly, it has been really, really hot this week and probably the hottest weather that we have been in this year and also filmed in. And a lot of times, smartphones overheat, they have to cool down for a few minutes. And especially if you have your screen on maximum brightness and are taking a lot of photos, it is important that you have a smartphone 
that is able to handle that. And the Oppo Find X5 has a super large vapor chamber as well as 3D graphene films to be able to ensure your smartphone stays cool and is able to keep up with the performance even after using it throughout the day, holding it right now and walking around. The phone itself still feels room temperature. So yeah, this is something that I definitely noticed on some smartphones, it's able to handle better than others. So one of the most exciting innovations that I always enjoy talking about with Oppo is the camera technology. And this is something that we followed many years, including the technology when it came to low light performance in its images, but at the same time, also the lens and partnership with Hasselblad that was established. But I'm here in the Hudson Yards, which is one of the favorite places to take photos in New York because there's just so much detail, architecture. And to be honest, for those who watch my channel, it is very much a similar aesthetic that you might be used to. And I just love walking around here. I've been here a few times, Times now so during this trip I'm going to be taking a lot of photos here on the Oppo Find X5 and that has a 50 megapixel primary camera with an f 1.7 aperture but most importantly especially when you're trying to capture all of these crazy towering buildings behind us the 0.5x camera also has a 50 megapixel sensor at an f 2.2 aperture during the daytime of course the photos are going to look great and with the Hasselblad co-engineered technology it is able to bring you natural colors and although I will say the blues are still a little bit strong. What I love about the Opal camera is that you can go into Lightroom and edit the photos exactly the way that you'd like and I found that the amount of data that you have is always there. Another aspect is when it comes to architecture, having as much detail as possible is important. And you can take the photos in the full 50 megapixel resolution and that looks especially good in the daytime because you can crop into the image and get that extra bit of detail as you crop in or if you want to print it on a large scale to maybe put in your bedroom or office. So of course we just got back from New York with some incredible photos thanks to some of the great experiences that we had on this trip. So let's go ahead and talk about the characteristics of the images captured on this great sensor. So some of the like daylight photos that we got were in sunrise and these are scenarios where it is often very easy to take a great photo of but there's definitely still a range of highlights and shadows that have to be well managed. When it comes to color characteristics, I'm personally someone who finds that a lot of times the photos might be a little bit too saturated, especially in the blues, and so that's one of the areas that I brought down right away. And what I loved about the characteristics of the photos from this camera is that they retained a ton of details, but at the same time was very easy to edit because of the amount of data involved. I was able to make the city view really stand out, but at the same time bring out some colors in certain areas such as the Empire State Building, while also directing some of the attention away from the skyline because I just felt like it was too much to look at. The view itself really did speak for itself, and so this is one of the favorite photos that I got on this trip. The other favorite photo that I had was actually closer to sunset from the Brooklyn side, which was a bit of a darker situation. And again, the camera was able to capture a ton of detail and a ton of color, but by going in and editing a little bit, I was very quickly able to edit it in a way where it really matched the theme that you guys are used to seeing on my page. These images turned out really nicely and you can see that the different layers of color and the data within coming from a smartphone was impressive. So now that we've taken a look at a ton of Oppo's innovations in daily usage that also contribute to the technology and enjoyment and also aspects of capturing moments of life on their smartphones, let's talk a little bit more about the Inspiration Ahead initiative that the Oppo Research Institute is focusing on when it comes to the different subjects. And there's two major subjects to talk about. There is the accessibility and also the digital health, which are areas that Oppo has already made a ton of enhancements on, but through their Inspiration Ahead program are looking to continue to push the limits of. The accessible technology aspect focuses on proposals that increase technological inclusiveness and cater to the diverse needs of different user groups and technical applications of products. When you take a look at the Opal menus, there's already talks of general accessibility as well as vision, hearing, and interaction, and they're trying to continue to find ways to include those user groups thanks to all of the powerful hardware that is already implemented on these devices, including the sensors, the eye tracking aspects, but also through software elements of the display. For example, being able to magnify color vision enhancement as well as color inversion, but also on the audio side of things, having a mode for mono audio. 
With digital health, it goes beyond just step tracking and also notifications that utilize the algorithms when the smartphone is in your pocket, but also reminding you when you spent too much time on your device, but also through practical modes that allow you to customize very specifically based on your needs, such as eye comfort. And beyond the screen color temperature and being able to tune that specifically, you can also go through the display effects such as color or the black and white, which is able to take that eye protection and comfort to the next level. If you guys wanna go in and check out the finalist candidates page from Oppo's Research Institute Innovation Accelerator, you can take a look at some of the solutions proposed for accessible technology and digital health. Check the link down below to get to know more about the project or pay attention to the upcoming final demo day competition. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video about the Oppo Inspiration Project, and we really look forward to continuing our partnership with Oppo as a whole with all of their future innovations from both a hardware and software optimization standpoint. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, enter the giveaway for a smartphone, and I'll see you all in the next one.